What's up guys? Gonna do a cooking video. Yes, cooking. Because you read the title and it said cooking and you got all excited and you clicked on it. And here you are watching a cooking video. Yeah, so this is uh, an appetizer which I'm calling fireballs, okay, but there's different ways you can do this and I'll explain. First of all, not my idea whatsoever. Uh, I've been backlogging some of videos from Food Wishes, uh, which is here on YouTube, which is a huge channel and they're awesome. Um, I think I mentioned them before. If not, Food Wishes, check them out. It's like a super YouTuber, but uh, really just, I love the format. Very entertaining the whole bit. Anyway, I saw him, he did a very simple version of this where he just took some sweet sausage, some sweet sausage, and stuffed them in cherry peppers and cooked them. That was it. But I want to take it to another level. Now, I'm going to make uh, a couple of these super duper hot, okay, and that's why I'm calling them fireballs. However, you can do this in any fashion you want. If, you, if you're not into heat, all right, if you're making them for people who just can't handle the heat, you can very easily alter this recipe, okay? Two simple ways. First of all, I got sausage here, and no, I'm not using this much. It's just cheaper to buy it like this, so I'll take maybe, I don't know, three links or four links or something like that out of it and make my stuffing for the peppers. Now, this is sweet Italian sausage. If you want to make this fi real fireballs, okay, like I'm intending to do, you'd want to get hot sausage, but this isn't just for me, I'm also making this for my friends. So I'm taking into consideration that they do not want their mouth completely melted off their face. So uh, I'm going to make them kind of semi-hot. But I'll make my own batch, you know, which I'll show you later, which is going to be super hot. So anyway, yeah, uh, sweet sausage. If you don't want spice, stick with sweet Italian. Uh, if you do want spice, maybe go with some uh, chorizo, a little bit of heat, or just some plain old hot Italian sausage. So, yeah, sausage. We need our pepper that we're stuffing in now. For all these recipes, or all the versions, they all take cherry peppers. Now I happen to get the hot peppers, okay? You can buy the sweet versions. And again, if you don't want heat, or if you're making this for your whole family, little kids or something, they just do not like the spice, or your wife, whatever, just doesn't, can't handle it. Then go with sweet sausage, and I don't know why I can't say that, it sounds like I have a lisp. It sounds like I have a whole mouthful of sweet sausage. Sweet sausage, and sweet cherry peppers, okay? That's it. But I'm going, I'm kind of, you know, half and half. No heat in the sausage, but a little bit of heat in the peppers. Besides that, instead of just shoving them in there, I'm going to actually make a stuffing and flavor a little bit. I'm going to put some real garlic in it. Yes, processed already. I actually have some garlic cloves, but I'm using that for a different recipe, which I may or may not film. Who knows? Um, it's actually a really good side dish. It's uh, Brussels sprouts and onions, which sounds gross to some people, but it's delicious. Anyway, yeah, some uh, regular garlic. In addition to that, garlic powder. Onion powder, a paprika, no, I don't think anyone says it like that, except for me just then, and some green onion. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can omit what you don't like, or you can add what you do like. You know, you can make the stuffing flavored like anything. In fact, other versions of this would be great if you just use sausage and a really good Parmesan cheese, you know, or who knows, you can do whatever you want. All right, guys, skip over 10 seconds, and now we're in a different part of my kitchen. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, uh, these peppers you want to prep up. Now you can buy them ready to go. They're just, you know, the seeds and all the crap's taken out, but a little bit cheaper to buy them whole like this. Plus I wanted to get the bigger ones because I am, this originally if you get the little tiny ones that are about half inch to an inch or so, they make great appetizers. These are going to be, for me anyway, it's going to be a meal. I can serve these right over some rice and boom, I got a meal. So that's going to be awesome. So let me show you how to prep them. It's really simple, but just in case. Ah, they smell good. Alright, so basically, dump them in a bowl. You want to get rid of all the juice. Alright, let's work with one here. Just to show you. One lonely pepper. A one is the loneliest number. Okay, I love that song. Alright, so real simple. Um, take your knife, which happens to be a woost off this video. You can use your EDC if you want to feel extra special. And try to pull that stem out. Actually, I should have just pulled it out. You know, wasting a little bit of pepper by doing it like that. But anyway, that's all. Take the seeds out. Scrape a little bit of that membrane out. You don't want a single seed because if you do have a seed in there, it might be a little bit of a crunch, and it's going to ruin the eating experience for whoever's enjoying this with you. All right. So get all the spoon. Actually, you know what? The smarter thing to do would be let me put the knife aside to use a spoon. Sometimes, I'm not all that smart. 
All right, so yeah, just kind of hollow these out like little delicious spicy pumpkins. All right. I'm gonna make a nice big cavity in there. Make sure you get all the seeds. There's a couple of lingers. Take your time with this. I'm not Russian. Actually, I'm Italian and German. All right, so it's one stubborn seed right at the bottom. Can you see that? That one linger. Come on, get out of there. Party's over. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna waste, waste. I'm not gonna waste time, and I'm gonna edit out me doing this with the rest of the peppers. But that's basically what I'm getting is a bunch of hollow peppers with no tops on them. All right, well, that's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I got 17 peppers here, and that probably took me like 15 minutes to do that. So, uh, hey, guess what? You might want to look into uh, getting these like that out of a jar. Anyway, um, all right, so I got 17 peppers to work with here. Now we're going to look at our sausage. Move this out of the way. It's over here. All right, get our mixture ready. Now, again, I'm not going to use this much sausage. I'm going to only need... I mean, we're only using this as a, as a stuffing. I'm going to say, eh, let's do five links. I can always, I can always cook just the you know, filling later if I want. All right, so let's break into this and take out five links. All right, so here's what we want to do. Take your sausage link and score the case just like so. All right, because what we want to do is we want to remove the skin, the casing, could be some kind of uh, all-natural pig intestine. There we go. By the way, rinse your bowl out. You can use the same bowl. And that's what you're left with. You don't want this. You don't want that skin. Kind of looks gross like that. Yeah. So uh, take all your sausage out because we're going to mix it up. Mix and match and all that kind of goodies. So it's all just kind of score that across. Be careful. Gotta be. I'll probably save these, use these for something else. Actually, I bet you if this wasn't raw meat, I'd, I'd blow into the side of there and make a loud whistle. If you ever find yourself in the woods with uh, a bunch of sausages, go ahead and cook it, but save the skins. You can make yourself a survival whistle. Yeah, what do you think of that? Alright, so it's two. Come on, get out of there. Three. It's kind of funny. I'm picturing someone like, you know, someone working at the meat part of my grocery store. Hates their job. <laughs> they spent all day putting this sausage in the casings, and I'm just cutting it out all willy nilly like. Hope they're not watching this video. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, one more. One more. By the way, if you're vegan, since we had topics of that before, and you don't like meat, then uh, I suppose you can substitute whatever your meat substitute is. Make these peppers with some tofu or something. Chop it up into little blocks. Do the same deal. All right, so now I got meat fingers. Ew. So wash your hands. Always wash your hands really good. So I'm going to wash my hands. Then when I'm done, I'm going to hit stop on this record button because I don't want to touch it now with my goopy fingers. I'll get back with you in a minute. All right, so I'm back. Grab a clean spoon. And actually, before I touch the meat with the spoon, I want to throw in some of my ingredients. So first, we got the garlic, just minced garlic. And you know, whatever I'm putting in here right now, this is just personal taste. I happen to like this stuff, so that's what I'm going with. You could put in herbs you like, or like I said, perhaps some cheese, you know, something like that. I'm going to make these pretty darn garlicky. Not shy about that. So, in addition to the fresh garlic, I'm also going to use a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little, oh, that's enough. Just a little sprinkle. Just a little hi, how you doing? All right, some onion powder. About that much. All right, paprika, don't go heavy on this because it will not taste good. And just a little something, something. And I am going to actually use this to sprinkle on top of my the peppers that I make super hot so I can distinguish them from the other peppers that I'm going to be giving other people. All right, last thing that's going to go in 
is some green onions or spring onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you live. I'm going to call them something different. Not too many of these, so just going to chop off uh, about that much. Turn the camera so you can see some of this cutting action, right? Of course, you want to see some cutting. Probably can't see any cutting anyway, just watching the back of my hand. <laughs> I can't see the viewfinder right now. And I bunch them together, cut them up, nice long ribbons. I'm not gonna make them too fine. I want to be able to see them in there. We'll reserve a couple of these for the top. Actually, no, I'll put parsley on the top. All right, pretty much it. All right, so dump this in a bowl. Just the back of the knife. I've, I've always been bad like that. I tend to use the blade to scrape, but I always mean to flip it over. Some people freak out, oh my God. Not cutlery lover. Scraping the blade. All right, that's enough of that. Okay, so now I'm going to hit this with a little bit of black pepper. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit this with a little black pepper. Actually, I like black pepper, so a little bit more than a little, and just a touch of salt. You know, there's no really way to try it yet until it's done, but I don't want to go too heavy on the salt. Sausage tends to be salty sometimes. You can always add it later. You can't add it in the beginning. I mean, if you put too much in, you can't take it out, so you don't want to ruin it. All right, so now basically take your spoon or your fingers, whatever you want, and just mush this up and mix it all together very thoroughly. Pretty simple. Now, if you don't have some of the stuff, like I said, just omit it. Don't worry about it. Leave it out. Recipe is supposedly really good with just the sausage, so I just want to give it a little something, something, you know. Now again, I'm going to take this mixture. And I'm going to fill some of the peppers. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to spice the heck out of this thing and kick it up a couple notches with some of the hot sauce and stuff I have to make the real recipe here the fireballs. Is that what I call them? Fireballs. Let's call them cherry bombs. I like that better because they kind of look like, well, they kind of look like cherry bombs, like the, uh, you know, the firework, the explosive. All right, make sure this is really well incorporated. You want one big garlic bite and then another bite with just onion. <laughs> I wish there was no such thing as copyright laws because. There's so many awesome songs I'd love to play in videos. Like right now, instead of just watching me and hearing me talk about what I'm talking about, um, I'd love to just play some good songs, but you gotta like worry about it. How stupid is that? Doesn't that really stink? We have to worry about stuff like that. We should be able to do what we want. But, you know, I'm not a musician. I suppose I'd have a different opinion if people were taking my music and, you know, I was not making any money. Or less money than I think I should make. I don't know. Just an opinion from a guy. All right, so we got this big old ball of stuff. I think that's pretty well incorporated by now. All right, so now, the easy part, kind of the fun part. Make sure you wash your hands again if you need to. We're going to stuff them. All right, super easy to do. I don't really even need to film this part, but I'm gonna fill it anyway. Now, I'm only gonna stuff what I'm giving my friends, and I'll come back. I'm going to show you one. I mean, here. We're stuffing it. I mean, do I have to show you? I'll show you anyway. I'll get in there with their fingers. All right, take your meat. Take your pepper. And stuff it in there. You can do it over the bowl if you want, in case it spills. It'll make a mess. Now, when you go in here, the tip I can give you is to really kind of keep pushing around and moving around because you want to get the entire inside filled. You don't want any air pockets in there. We want to maximize our meat holding capabilities on this pepper. Now for me, 
I'll stuff them so they're sticking out a little bit. Maybe not that much. Put a little bit of that back. Stuff them like this and kind of flatten the top a little bit. So I like a meaty. I don't want no shy little pepper. That's pretty much it. All right, so that's a stuffed pepper. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna do this with a few of them, and I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm adding to that to make this the true cherry bombs. All right, guys, got about half of them done. This is for my friends or guests, if you will. Now it's time to move these off to the side because I have to doctor up this uh, the rest of this filling. By the way, this filling looks like it's gonna be perfect for what I have and what I need because the ones that I'm leaving myself are a little bit on the smaller side. So here's how I'm kicking this up to make it the fireballs, or excuse me, cherry bombs. This is pretty confusing. Yeah, I like cherry bombs, so I'm gonna stick with that. All right, first thing here, just to start the party, a little bit of regular old Tabasco sauce. I'm gonna give that a shake first. Regular old Tabasco sauce. Couple of drops. There we go, a little puddle. Now, who else is going to the party here? One of my favorite hot sauces. This is the Pain is Good, Jamaican style. Very, very, very hot hot sauce. It's not going to kill you, but it's up there. But man, it's got flavor. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, eh, six. All right. Some good stuff. All right, time to get a little bit hotter. Black Mamba, another one of my favorite. It has a chocolate uh, habaneros in it. Definitely some hot stuff. Mm, smells good. Let's see. Let's do. Yeah. Yeah. Oop, one more. There we go. All right. <laughs> Every time I pour it, more comes out. Okay. Wipe that lid off. There we go. By the way, if you guys have not tried this stuff, trust me, it's super, super hot. All right, now last. I'm going to put a little bit of heartthrob in there. This has the uh, scorpion, uh, Trinidad scorpion peppers in it, naga chilies, a whole bunch of stuff, but this is some serious sauce. So let's pop the top here. And dump a little of this in. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. One's waiting for you. There must be a chunk of pepper or something in there. Ah, not like I'm filming. Not like people are waiting or anything. I got a toothpick here. Get this party started. Alright, come on. Come on. I know you're scared. It's okay. No one's looking. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Now, there we go. Ooh, one. Mm, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's enough. I don't kill myself. All right, so. There is lots of super hot stuff in here. And yes, when I'm all done, I will try one of these on camera for you. So you can all laugh at me. But, um, yep, that's it. I want to be careful putting this stuff away because I did get it on my hands. And just washing it off doesn't help. That's the beginning of me trying to fix the problem with it being on my hands. Then you got to wipe it, paper towels, and keep washing it, scrubbing it, and washing it. All right, so I'm okay for just a second. All right, so I got all kinds of hotness in there. All right, ridiculous hotness. That's enough to heat up that whole package of sausage to really hot. So I want to really incorporate this very good. At this point, because I've used my fingers to fill the peppers, it'd probably be a good idea to uh, go ahead and use gloves, but don't have any at my disposal right this second. Kind of mush that, really get it. Man, it smells. It smells really good. It's just really strong. So there's my ridiculous burn your face off um, cherry bomb filling. 
So I'm going to fill the rest of the peppers with my cherry bomb filling and I'll get back with you when I'm done with that. So now we're all stuffed up. Had a little bit of uh, meat left over with no pepper, so just rolled into a meatball and that's going to be, I don't know, that'll be just a bonus thing. I'll call that uh, Lucifer's testicle about that. So we'll try that without the pepper as well. But now, my hot hot is on the right side. I don't want to forget that. Okay, that's my stuff. So what I'm going to do is take my paprika and we give this a little bit of a shot, a little dusting on top. Okay, so I happen to like it and I want to really differentiate between the two. It's important that I do not give my friends this ridiculously hot stuff. So, hey, yeah, don't forget to sprinkle your testicle there too. So now, this is going to go into an oven. The oven, uh, actually I should have told you earlier, not that we're doing this in real time, but you should preheat your oven to 375. These are going to bake in there for approximately 20 minutes, okay? Um, the bigger peppers here, I'm going to kind of look at them after 20 minutes, but, uh, you know, it's generally what it's going to be, 20, 25 minutes. It really depends on how big the peppers are, but. All right, guys, mine took exactly 27 minutes, and they're looking beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let them cool off for a little bit, then I'm going to take my friend's batch and move those over to uh, a separate pa uh, paper plate with uh, some paper towels on there to drain. So I'm going to put them, you know, in a nice little container for them. I don't want to be all oily and greasy and stuff. So I'll drain those off. Then I will take um, my, what do I call it? Lucifer's testicle. <laughs> I'll take that out. And as soon as it cools off just a little bit, we'll try that real quick. All right, guys, I let this cool down all of about 30 seconds. Kind of impatient, pretty hungry. And I'm eager to try it. So we're going to try this. It actually reminds me of lamb fries. You guys ever see the movie uh, uh, Funny Farm with Chevy Chase? That was a funny movie. This is a good one. Classic for me. I used to love the mailman. By the time he got all the way out to the house, he'd be completely wasted and drunk and throw the mail over the lawn. Anyway, good flick. If you never saw it, go rent it or something. But let's uh, break into this and try it. Perfectly cooked, I may add. Nice and juicy, but there's no pink or anything in there. So let's cut this into... I guess chunks. I'm gonna try a little piece. It is still steaming hot, so let's see. Oh man. Awesome flavor. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> I was waiting for that heat to kick in. You know what guys? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's not like, oh my god, hot. It, it's actually a really, really nice heat. Let me try another piece. Make sure I'm right about this. Plus, I am pretty hungry right now. Mmm. Fantastic flavor. Wow. Now, let me just remind you. The hot sauce one, or the hot sauce side. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to finish this and I'll, I'll grab an actual pepper and try it. Wow, that's delicious. Come on, get off my fork. Come on. Come on, people. There we go. Mmm. Wow. That is really... <coughs> Ooh. There's a little punch of heat. I have to say, you know... Seeing some of the hot sauce they put in there, you'd really think like, oh my god, man, that's too hot. Once you start cooking with sauce, it doesn't have that same impact. I mean, it's burning my mouth right now, but it's a really, really good, comfortable burn. In addition to a delicious flavor. And what I wanted to mention is that um, a lot of the hot sauce they put in for my side, as opposed to like my friends, it did add quite a bit of flavor. Like, I mean, have the general flavors, but they add some twang and a little bit of this, a little of that. And it's absolutely delicious. So anyway, let me try it with the uh, the pepper itself. And you can see, I mean, as far as presentation, they, they're a little bit of oily and greasy from being in there. In the pan, you want to pat these off, pat them dry before you serve them if you didn't want it to look like that on a plate. But how I would serve this and how I'm going to eat this later on uh, for dinner, which I may show you because I want to try to use my, my hobo uh, knife. Actually, you know what? I got the thing on me right now. What the heck? 
we surpass that video and just uh, make it all one video. Yeah, I got a case hobo here. So, let's open this baby up. I'm gonna get with it. Why not, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's try this uh, this pepper here. Pepper looks like it's nice and cooked. It was already pickled, so it's not gonna be hard to begin with, but let's get a nice little piece of pepper, a little bit of that sausage. And try some of this. Mmm. Wow. It's really, really good. The pepper itself is very sweet. So then you get the meat flavors and all the juices and a little bit of heat in there. It's really tasty. You can see how it shrinks a little bit once it cooks. Mmm. Man. That is fantastic. Sorry for the guys watching these videos at like, you know, midnight and they're starving. I happen to watch uh, Food Wishes and a couple other cooking channels on YouTube. And for some reason, I always end up putting them on and watching these awesome looking stuff. Like right before I go to bed. I'm going to think like, oh crap, I'm starving now. It's just like a tease, you know. But this is absolutely phenomenal. If you guys get a chance, make this at home. Use your own favorite hot sauce. I mean, I'm getting a lot of heat from this, but I'm really picking up a lot of flavors too. I mean, I have that like good warm coating in my mouth right now. It's not overwhelming. It's not too hot. In fact, I mean, the two people, my two friends I'm giving this to, the one, uh, the guy I know um, can really take the heat. I and mean, he would love this, but uh, his wife's not so much into the heat. So anyway, it's just phenomenal. Wow. All right, well. Oh my God, it's so good. All right, that's pretty much it. I will mention that um, for my dinner later, I'm just gonna make a, I don't know, about a cup, well, cup worth of rice. And uh, I mean like a cup cooked, not a cup uncooked, because that's too much rice for me. But you know, put a nice little bowl of rice down the plate, put two or three, two or three of these things around it. Bam, an awesome meal. Uh, you don't really need any vegetables because you have peppers, but I suppose I can put some string beans or something on the side. Nah, it's a little bit too many, too many veggies. Anyway, that's all. Let me finish this last bite here. You can see this hobo knife works very nicely. As I say that, I can't stand my pepper. No, it works really good. It's the classiest way to eat your dinner, I can tell you that. And yes, these will be cleaned properly, and yes, this still will continue to be my EDC. I have no problem, I clean my knives. You know, I cut through some dirty tape at work, and then I come home, and I clean it, and I can eat with it. And I literally will eat with this fork and knife for a long time. As long as I'm EDC in it, right? Anyway, last bite. Mmm. Phenomenal. I grabbed uh, two more to finish my lunch. I'm giving you this little update here because, wow, I must have just, uh, the one I tested, It must have been uh, light on the sauce because now I'm having these two. I'm I'm literally pouring sweat. It's gross. I don't really want to show you that, but you can see it glistening. It's disgusting. I'm dripping sweat. My lips are swollen and red. Looks like I'm wearing lipstick. This is kicking my butt. I guess I hit the heartthrob cherry bomb. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that in case you happen to have the same exact hot, hot sauces to try this. It is a bomb. The first one I tried on film there, I'm like, oh, it's really good. I'm like, and I'm thinking, you know, I put some really, really hot hot sauce in there. It doesn't taste that hot. I'm like, well, whatever. <laughs> I was just watching some videos. <clears throat> I was enjoying another one. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> That's hot. Uh, uh, oh, so I uh, turn the camera back on real quick to give you an update. Yes, they are super, super hot. So here's a, another look inside. Wow. All right. So that's all. Yeah, a lot. Way hotter than I thought it would be. 
but still extremely delicious. So much so that even though I'm suffering from the heat, I will finish this because it's delicious. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.